Welcome to Lamplight Crochet. My name is Laura. Today we will be learning how to crochet this very long scarf and it's nice and uh, soft to the touch and it measures about 77 long by three and a half inches wide. And so I did not make this scarf for really extreme warmth. I made it as an accessory. I just wanted an accessory for myself to be able to tie around my neck. And you'll see some pictures on this video on the mannequin of it being tied and what it looks like. I made it from a Red Heart uh, With Love metallic yarn in the color Royal. I have crocheted it with an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook. And I will show you easily step-by-step step how to create this scarf. You can make it as a gift or use it for yourself. And uh, follow along with me if you know how to make a half double crochet stitch, then you will be fine making this scarf. And if you don't, you can just follow me step-by-step step and I will show you how. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start making our Royal Sparkle Blue Scarf. And what we want to do is take our eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter, and the yarn that I instructed you to get for this project. We are going to wrap the yarn around our upper two fingers and cross over. Then we turn our hand over and place the hook underneath the first one and grab the second one. We are making a slip knot, and then we just pull both ends and uh, pull it to the hook there. Now what we are going to do is, now this seems like a lot, but remember we don't have that many rows to go on this scarf. So we are going to crochet the chain as the length of the scarf, the entire length of the scarf. Now this scarf runs 77 long by three and a half inches wide. So right now this initial chain will cover the 77 inches long. We are going to make 224 chain. So we are going, even if you miss one chain or whatever, it does, really doesn't matter in the scarf. You know, it's just not going to matter at all. So it'd be nice to be within one or two stitches, but uh, just make 224. Now I have already made my scarf. So I am just going to make a swatch, a sample piece. But here I'll show you how to make the chain stitch. So we wrap the yarn around and pull down in. Now I want you to make this chain loose. We do not want the scarf pulling. Wrap around, pull down in, that's two. Wrap around the hook, pull down in, that's three. Wrap around, pull down in, that's four. Now I want you to continue this until you get to 224. Go back and count your stitches and you can mark off the 100th stitch with a safety pin. So then you only have to count another 100 from there you can safety pin that and then 24 from there to make it a little easier. But we are going at 224. So I will see you back at 224 and I will show you how to make the half double crochet stitch. We'll see you then. Okay, I am making just a swatch. So this swatch is only 15 long, but you should have 224. So this should be the length of your scarf. Now I'm going to show you how to make the half double crochet stitch. What we need to do is we need to start out by wrapping the yarn around the hook and counting to the third stitch. One, two, three. We do not count the one on the hook. So we count one, two, three. And we are going to go down into that third chain, wrap around, and now we have three pieces of yarn on the hook. We wrap around and pull through all three. So you want to go into the third chain from the hook. Let's do that again. Wrap around, go down into the next chain, wrap around again and pull through. We have three on the hook. Then we wrap around and pull all the way through. Now I want you to go to the very end of the row, repeating this process. Okay, we will see you at the end of the row. Okay, we have reached the very end of our first half double crochet row. So what we want to do there is we want to chain two. We are raising the yarn 
to the height of this stitch before we turn. So we chained two and now we are turning. Now in this next row, we are going to do our first stitch in the second stitch from the hook. So we begin counting here, one, two. So it's going to go down into this second stitch. Now, there is a, uh, something different we're going to do with this half double crochet stitch. We are going to do it into the back loop only. So turn your work to see the very top. And we are going to go into the second stitch back loop only. So it's going to be right there. Okay, so we have to wrap our yarn first. So here we go. We're counting one, two, turning it so we can see, wrapping the yarn into the back loop only, and then we just continue on as before. Let's do that again. We wrap our yarn around, we turn it so we can see it. We're only going into the back loop. We wrap around, pull it up, wrap around and pull all the way through. Now continue to the end of the row like this, and I will meet you back there. This will make the ridges in the scarf, which are very beautiful because it gives texture and I believe that the metallic piece really shines out more whenever it's raised and lowered. So it gives the scarf texture. So let's show this one more time. We wrap the yarn around, we turn our work so we can see the stitches. We go into the back loop only and we wrap around, pull through, and then wrap around again and pull through all three. And that is the half double crochet stitch in the back loop only. We are going to be doing it that way for the rest of this project. Okay, we'll see you at the end of the row. Okay, we have come to the end of our row and I want to make sure that you do not miss doing a stitch in the chain two at the very edge. If you miss that, then your scarf will be lopsided on the edge and we don't want that. We want a straight scarf. So here I have one more. I'm turning my work here so you can see. I have one more stitch that I can see clearly, but then there will be a stitch made in the chain to turning stitch. So let's do this. We wrap around and we put that in the back loop only, pull up wrap around, pull through, but we still have one more. We're going to go into the chain two right down here and make another half double crochet stitch. Now we will chain two again. So we chain two and then we turn our work. And so this is how we continue to make this scarf throughout. Now remember, you only have to do eight of these rows. This is the length of the scarf and it is 77 inches long for the real project. I'm making a swatch. So we will only do eight rows like this and we will have approximately three and a half inch wide if you spread it all out and measure it. So let's start again now. We have one, two. We're going to go into the second stitch from the hook into the back loop only, wrap around, wrap around again and pull all the way through. And we will continue to do this to the end. And please do not forget to make your last stitch in the chain two, okay? And that way you will have a straight edged scarf. So all you have to do is do this for eight rows and you will have a beautiful accessory to wear with a number of things. Thank you for joining me. And I'm so glad that um, they come out with this metallic yarn and it's just beautiful. And I hope that your scarf turns out awesome. We'll see you next time at Lamplight Crochet.